cancer is the leading cause of cancer among women. In fact, globally, 25 women out of every 100,000 women are affected by breast cancer. It does sound scary, but the good news is that if detected earlier, it is completely treatable and also it is preventable. What are the signs and symptoms of breast cancer and what are the risk factors of breast cancer. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Renuka David and I'm going to be speaking to you about breast cancer, how do you prevent it and share the good news that do not be scared. The common age where people get uh, inflicted with breast cancer is the estrogenic phase of their lives. So anyone who uh, gets her menstrual cycles early in age or has a late menopause are prone for breast cancers. There are many other causes, genetic. Ladies who have the BRCA1 and BRCA2 uh, genetic stereotype are prone for breast cancers. Women who consume alcohol are a little more susceptible. There are some occupational hazards which do uh, increase the incidence of breast cancer. Implants, silicone implants are not really, really good in the long run if they have to wear it for a long duration of time. And definitely, uh, when you have that bad gene, you are more susceptible. In fact, a person who has had her breast cancer and has had a complete treatment, has been cured, is more uh, susceptible to get breast cancer than a person who's never had breast cancer. What are the signs and symptoms? Generally, a lump in your breast. So it's very advisable for a woman to always feel herself when she's having her part to detect for any lumps. Uh, and if there's any lump, not only in her breast, but also in her armpit, which is not subsiding, uh, discharge from the nipple, inverted nipples, uh, the orange peel of your skin, if your skin turns to look like the peel of an orange skin uh, and then different size of the breast uh, these are pretty much uh, the uh, you know symptoms which could cause alarm and you need to re uh, reach out to your medical practitioner to for her to assess uh, what is the cause of these symptoms uh, women who have got a dense uh, glandular mass uh, more glandular tissue in their breasts are again more susceptible for breast cancer the good news is uh, all this preventable if detected early. I mean, you could also uh, get it treated completely. Uh, the most common test done is the mammogram. Now, mammogram is a screening test done by doctors which use uh, rad uh, radiation, radio, uh, radiating waves uh, to detect the presence of any abnormal tissue in the breast. How is a mammogram done? Now this is a, a process which scares many ladies and that prevents them from doing a mammogram. It's nothing to be worried. The breast tissue is kept on a plastic plate wherein the other plate is uh, generally the breast tissue is laid flat on this plate and the other plate compresses it and a series of uh, images are taken, read, the um, x-ray images are taken in different angles of the breast. The technician checks whether the images are okay and then she releases the breast. That's all, that's all to it. Women are scared probably because of the discomfort, if they've got big uh, breasts, glandular breasts, it's a little uncomfortable. But then uh, it's just imperative to do it because as I said, breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer among women how well uh, what's the duration when do you do it uh, breast cancer incidences increase with age so women who are probably in the age between 40 to 59 would like would need to do it annually especially if they have an incident of cancer in their family thereafter it could be once in two years uh, and this again needs to be checked by your doctor because she might just see the environment you're staying in your hereditary factors your lifestyle uh, preferences and then advice accordingly but this is a ballpark that once every year when you are uh, between say 49 uh, 40 to 60 and thereafter once in two years so go there if you've not yet done the mammogram please get it done this year or probably this month and you'll be relieved when you know that there's nothing to worry about have a great day 
Goodbye. Thank you.